A mock-up is a pre-arranged scene that you can use to show a product or an image in real-world situations. For example, you can show your YouTube page displayed on an iPad, or custom text on a coffee mug, or a string of Polaroid photos that showcase your images. Mockups are layered Photoshop files in PSD format that have an interchangeable layer for your image. In this lesson, I'll show you how to insert your own image into a PSD mockup in Photoshop Elements 15. Hi, Karen here. Let's get started. I've already opened the mockup files that I want to use and my own images that I want to use for replacements. Let's start with the working on an iPad mockup. Notice in the layers panel that there are four layers in this mockup. The top layer is pure white and it says delete this. So just click and drag on the layer thumbnail over the trash bin to delete that layer. The background layer is just a desk. The next layer up shows an iPad with a black screen and someone's finger sitting on top of that screen. The layer that we're going to use for the replacement is an image that's been placed on that black screen and below the finger. Notice in this layer that there is a layer mask that masks a section of the image so that you can see the finger below. There's also some layer styles that have been added to this layer. Let's select the image in that layer. Press Control or Command and then click on the layer thumbnail for that layer and it will select the image that's in the layer. Create a new layer above it. Now go over to the image that you want to use as the replacement. Press Control A or Command A to select that whole image. Then press Control C or Command C to copy it. Go back to the original mockup. Make sure that that blank layer is selected. Then from the Edit menu, choose Paste into Selection. The image is now pasted into the selection. If not already selected, select the Move tool. Notice that the bounding box is bigger than the area in which the image should appear which shows that your image is a little bit larger than that area. So we want to resize it to fit. Click on one of the corners of the bounding box and down in the tool options for the transform tool check constrain proportions. Now drag a corner down and another corner up until that image fits into that black area. And then check the green check mark. The hand is still appearing underneath the image and we need it to appear on top. We can just drag and drop the layer mask and the layer styles from that layer below to the top layer. Press the Alt or the Option key, click on the layer mask and then drag it to the layer above. Press Alt or Option, click on the layer styles icon and drag it to the image above. And now we have the layer mask and the layer styles on that top layer and our image appears within the iPad screen. Now let's work on the coffee mug mockup. Notice that the coffee mug in this mockup has some blurred text that conforms to the curvature of the mug. And we're going to replace that blurred text with our own text. The blurred text is also faded because it's sitting in the background kind of out of focus. Right now let's just hide the layer that contains that coffee mug text and we'll add our own. Select the horizontal type tool and select the font that you want to use. I'm using Bonjour Regular. Choose a color for the font. I'll choose black. The size and also center the text. Now let's type the text. 
I'm going to like I hate Mondays and let's just move Monday down to the next line we'll check the green check mark to select it now we can move it over to the cup and let's click on the bounding box handles make sure constraint proportions is selected in the tool options and resize this to fit on the cup we still need to make this text fit to the curvature of the cup. If I commit the current operation, I will need to select the horizontal type tool again and then go down to the create warp text tool. Click on it. From the style drop down select arc and horizontal and then bend the text to about minus 5 to minus 7. If we look at the layer that contained the design, the original design, notice there's a little circular icon to the right. That circular icon indicates that some filter effects were added to this layer, to the smart object on this layer in Photoshop but we can't copy those in Photoshop Elements, so we're going to have to recreate them on our own layer. So select your text layer again. Let's just reduce the opacity of that to 75% to blur it. You can type in 75. Now from the filter menu, select Blur and then select Gaussian Blur. Click convert to smart object and the Gaussian blur dialog opens. Set a radius of two to two and a half pixels and click OK. Our text is now blurred and if we want the opacity a little lower we can reduce the opacity a little bit so that it looks like it's faded more into the background. Our last mock-up is the hanging Polaroid photos. In this mock-up, there's a layer that you need to delete, so click and drag that layer to the trash bin. Then there is a layer group underneath it. Select the right arrow and click to show all of the different layers that are within that layer group. There are four layers of photos that you will need to replace. Select Photo 1 layer. Then press Ctrl or Command and click on the layer thumbnail to select it. Create a new layer. Notice that the new layer sits outside of the layer group and on top of it, but we want it within it and on top of that first photo. So click and drag within the Layers panel until that sits on top of Photo 1 layer. Go over to the photo you want to use, press Ctrl a or Command A to select it, then press Control C or Command C to copy it. Go back to the Hanging Photos mockup. From the Edit menu, choose Paste into Selection. Then choose the Move tool. Click on one of the Transform corners. Make sure Constrain Proportions is selected and resize that image until it will just about fit into that area. We will have to rotate it in order to fit it as well. And when you have it situated the way you want and rotated properly, check the green check mark. We still need to copy the layer mask and the layer styles from the Photo 1 layer to the layer above it. So select the Photo 1 layer, press Alt and then drag on the layer mask and drop it on the layer above it. Press Alt and click on the Layer Styles icon and drop that on the layer above it. Now you can continue the same process with each of the other three images in this photo. When you're finished, you will have an image that looks like this. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and come visit me again.